still on the sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. Y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let's go to the middleweights, guys. Uh, the fight that I keep telling you is going to happen, you know, uh, that's the Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin fight. Well, anyway, word has it that um, negotiations are off and the fight's in jeopardy, right? And I'm just telling you guys, I don't believe it, right? I don't believe it, and I told you guys before why. There's too many monsters uh, in that division. Uh, the mandatories are monsters, and uh, even the guys, the number ones and number twos, they're monsters. There's no easy fights left. So I think these guys are going to fight. Well, word has it that, uh, you know, uh, Golovkin wants a better deal, right? Seeing as though Canelo was doped and he's the one, the reason why the fight on May the 5th didn't happen, maybe this shouldn't be an issue. But uh, Oscar De La Hoya, the promoter of Canelo, has come out and said, you know, hey, we're going to move on, right? They want more money or whatever. We're going to move on. And he started naming the fighters. You know, we're going to be calling up Jacobs. We're going to be calling up Charlo. And, uh, he said somebody else that was pretty good, right? Um, and then, but the name that I know he's the one, he, oh, he said Billy Joe Saunders, right? But then the name that he mentioned last is the one he really going to call, and that's Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Okay, that's what Canelo's going to do, because let's not get it twisted, guys. Let's remember, after Billy Joe Saunders beat David Lemieux easily, outclassed him, Canelo immediately said, I don't want to fight him and his team, because he's a runner now. Right, even though he beat David Lemieux up real well. And Canelo did have had a similar tactic against Gennady Golovkin. That's why I was like, well, how can you, you know, that's like somebody calling the kettle black. <laughs> right? You know, so those are the kind of things. But this guy is just a battle of teams that are entitled. That's why, you know, they argue right now, but they know at the end of the day they better fight each other. Uh, they just feel entitled. Look what Gennady Golovkin was able to do in his last fight. Right, you come from a training camp and you're able to fight a guy a weight division lower than you, and hadn't fought in two years, right? And coming off a loss, you were able to do that, right? Although the IBF did not sanction that fight, you know they made a you know made a note of to not do that, but uh, you know he was able to do that. I didn't see any fans you know, complaining. Even at StubHub, they were triple G, triple G. Nobody was really upset about it, so it didn't reach the casual fans. Uh, how he was acting to get a fight like that. Didn't reach him, right? Canelo, we don't have to discuss it. I mean, his own weight division for for years, not being the best 154-pounder, right? But being university, not university, but recognized a little bit as the face of boxing and hasn't really done anything to do to be that, not that title. He should be considered a good fighter. And then that's about it right now. There's not even a championship there. So these two teams negotiating, will be a problem, but make make no mistake about it. They need each other. They probably will fight, and it will probably be on September. If not, let's enjoy who, else, who these guys are going to fight. Let's just enjoy it, because it's going to be funny one way or another. Because I'm telling you, it ain't going to be no Danny Jacobs or no Charlo, right? Uh, Golovkin, he's got to worry about, he better fight Darian Chico. If not, he's going to get stripped of his IBF title. And let's remember, guys, Golovkin has been saying the whole time he wants to unify the division. It's just to do so now, you've got to do something. Let's see what happens. I think they're fighting. I think that news is almost fake news. Let's see what's up. Double Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.